heck's going on, everybody? Welcome to Big Rig Frosty Gaming. That's right. Welcome to the show. Hope everybody is having a most splendid day. Welcome, welcome. Uh, big apology for last night. Uh, power went out. And then I did try to go live again, which it worked for like, what, five minutes? And then the power went out and uh, was out in the whole neighborhood for like three hours. So I went to bed. And then I woke up at like 2 a.m. to all the power coming back on, bright lights and all kinds of noises. So, uh, yeah, it was unfortunate, but hey, that's what happens. Sometimes you lose power, right? But uh, that's why I wanted to do this again tonight, because I didn't get anywhere near the uh, the fill that I wanted with this, with the farm. I, I want It was going to be a long stream yesterday. It just didn't happen because of the power going out. So we're going to finish where we left off. I actually went forward. We finished the field by the church, and we almost have these two fields done that are on the main road. And Stevie and I are going to finish up all that straw bedding, and that'll get all the straw in for the cows. And then we're going to be cutting tons of grass, so you'll be able to spam your uh, grass cutting stickers tonight because uh, we'll be doing a lot of it. We'll be doing just regular grass cutting, and then we'll also be making hay I want to feed the cows grass and hay. Uh, we want to get them fed immediately, so we're going to have to uh, wait to feed them the TMR because, you know, you got to you gotta wait for your silage to ferment, and uh, we don't have time for that. We can't let this, the, the cows starve to death, so we got to get them some grass and hay. And, uh, yeah, so thanks for tuning in. Hit the like button. You know the drill. Hit subscribe if it's your first time here. And sit back, relax, grab a drink, grab a snack, and kick off your slippers or sandals or whatever you got on. And just relax. What's up, Cody, Corey, Josh, Christopher, Adam, Joey? We got Tom, Justin Vanderford, Bradley Simmons, Brian Santor, Dylan Stringer, Corey Eichmann. Uh, we got Scott Brown. We also got Nick DeBar in the house. Abraham Mendez. Chris Smith says, Evening Frosty. Hello, Stevenson. Tom Floodwater. Mickey Trimmer. Ina Alavu Gaming. Chris Muncher and Scott Brown was first in the chat. What's up, Scott? And uh, Frank Barton in the house. Ice Dragons here. And Matthew Bursley. Yeah, hopefully the, the, the whole neighborhood. I looked out the window and the whole neighborhood was dark last night, so I don't know what happened. I never found out why it happened, but yeah, I was out for like three hours. No storms. It was raining, but that was about it. What's up, John N? Uh, hopefully we get some of those new viewers that were here last night uh, tuning back in to enjoy some farming. So I'm gonna fire up. Uh, this is Steerman's John Deere. He, he had a little issue. We'll see if he's in here. Hello? Hello. Hola. Hey, Steerman back or? Kinda. <laughs> Kinda. Uh oh. It's still giving him trouble. Yeah, he's on schedule. Yeah, I'll just fall from all the oh. He's got to re-download everything. I'm not sure everything. I think it's just a couple of. But they give him. They give him issues. Ugh, that's not good. Uh, well, Stearman's, uh, something weird happened. He went to start and join us, and all his mods in his folder showed that they were they were gone. So I don't know if anybody's ever had that happen. I've heard of it happen to some people before, and I don't remember if there's a fix for it, but he's definitely going to be late <laughs> if he has to re-download all that. Ah, that stinks. I've heard that happen though before. Like I've someone... heard of it happening. It's, it's rare, but I have my app. Yes, I think someone in the community went through it. I can't remember who, but I think someone did. Nice John Deere. That's nice eyes. Yeah, it's an old school John Deere here. One second. Time out. Darn wheel. Ugh, stinking, stinking wheel. <laughs> Always got to reset it every day. All right, that should be better. Why does it do that? It just loses force feedback. I don't get it. Oh. 
And it's always been up here too, up here, even after updates. It's like a daily occurrence. So how's Stevie doing today? You're doing good, how are you sir? I'm alright, I'm alright. I've really been struggling sleeping lately. It's getting bad. But other than that, not bad. It's a little wore out. My body's kind of like shutting down on me or something. Not getting enough rest. Many late nights. Well, like I try, like I just, I have, I don't know. I just don't know. I'll just lay in bed and stare, restless. Maybe I'm going through a phase. <laughs> I don't know. Is that a case tractor on the mod hub? No, no. No, these are, we're using a lot of PC stuff. I couldn't even tell you who it's by. We got 500 something mods going. But yeah, that's not on the mod hub. Uh, Nick DeBar, thank you for the $2 super chat. Thank you very much there, sir. How you doing today? Thank you very much, Nick. What's up, Adam Small? Tony Martig is in the house. What's up, Tony? Got to back up a little bit so I don't run into the cemetery fence. <laughs> that little cold spree. Back it slopes a little steep. I'll just finish this field and then I'll drive down to the other end to finish that one. Got my life-changing surgery on Friday. Tom, we'll be thinking about you, buddy. Very, very huge, important uh, day for Tom. and I know I'll be thinking. I, I hope it all goes well, buddy. Hopefully it all goes well. Uh, what's up, RJ Holiday? I've got one year old going through sleep regression, so I, I get being tired, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm on some new medicine, and I think that's probably the, the problem. The body's just not reacting to it very well. Hopefully it adjusts to it, or I'll have to try something different. Glad to see your internet working. I went to watch your stream last night and less than 30 seconds after I joined it. Well, my uh, power went out in my neighborhood, so the whole, yeah, it, it went out for like three hours last night. So that was the end of the stream, unfortunately. What's that, Stevie? Sorry. I said meditation can be helpful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I just, yeah, I don't know. Something's got to get better and be sleep deprived you know like even today I tried to take a big nap and it just it doesn't I'm, I don't know sleep like super light never used to I used to be able to sleep like a baby but now just the slightest thing wakes me up yeah I've been there so many times what's up Chris Lynch what's going on man uh, hey there, Frost. I hate chat. Still at work. Glad you're on. Well, thanks, buddy. Some water texture issues. All right, I'm going to head down to the other end and get this all finished up. So this, I'm hoping this little patch up here, chat, will be the last of harvesting tonight. And then we're going to do a ton of grass work. I'm hoping this will make enough straw to finish putting all the bedding down. Probably won't, but I'm trying to think positive. Lots of cows. And I found more cows last night that I, I didn't realize we, I didn't purchase Stevie. Uh-oh. <laughs> Actually, two pens I didn't know I hadn't purchased. So one of them is beef. So that's not a big deal. We can feed them grass or hay. And then uh, I found more dairy cows up at that top farm. There's actually two spots, triggers for different animals. Well, cows. Yep. 
Kevin Flores. Coming in with the $5 Super Chat says, Howdy, Frosty and Chat. Maybe you could set up a I Can't Sleep Cam and the chat can keep you company. Yeah, that's what I need to be kept awake. You silly. You're silly. Where's Dumby? I mean, Gumby. Hey, watch it, Isaiah. He's, uh, I think he has to re-download all 500 mods again. He went to join me this evening and his mods folder was empty for some reason. It is, everything just disappeared, so. Not the most exciting thing to happen for him, but hopefully he'll be able to join us later once he gets it all back up and running. Right, wasn't that a lovely harvest? Yeah, once the power came back on last night, I got started on a couple chores, so we were ahead of the game today. Just remember just... to save regular. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't want to jinx you, but just in case. Just in case. This all fits in the truck. Oh, the truck's full. All right, we're gonna go dump this into the silo chat. There we go. Stevie's gonna finish bailing, and then uh, we'll bring down the wagon and a telehandler. Get all those loaded up and brought back to the farm. Uh, why is Poto streaming rubber ducks? He does that 24-7 on his other channel now. <laughs> Just a, a place to uh, relax and watch ducks float, I guess. It's, it's actually very relaxing. So I went ahead, I thought about it, chat, for the, for the sake of streaming and you guys not having to watch us drive to the top of the map and back all the time. I did put in a uh, fermenting silo down here at the main dairy farm. So while this dumps, I'll show you. I put this in so the, the actual map doesn't come with this in this location. It makes you drive. Saving the game. There you go. It makes you drive all the way up the main road to here to ferment your silage. Uh, well, I mean, I take that back. There are bunkers down here. But if you want to do your uh, silage through a fermenter, it's way up here. So I just went ahead and put another one down here so it's easy to get to, because this is where the, the main bulk of all the cows are to feed. So that's gonna save us a ton of running back and forth. All right, on my way back there, sir. Drawer is done, all bailed. All right, the John Deere should be around where we left it last night with the uh, bale trailer. What's up, Austin Wall? Do and Biker. I can't talk, but I'm listening. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah. Don't be watching. Just listen, Do and. Hope you're doing well, sir. All right. The rest of these oats out of here. Oh yeah, this should be plenty of bales to uh, take care of some business, I think. Oops. Just didn't pull up enough. There you go. All right, so we'll let that fill up. 
when do you leave for Christmas vacation? I think we're leaving either the 22nd or 23rd. I don't want to tell you the wrong date because I'm not sure yet. But somewhere around that time. What's up, George Tack? Look at your new race car tomorrow. Ooh, fancy. Hello, Jessica Evans. Fawzi. Hello, Fawzi. How are ya? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, tomorrow's our last day working in our shop before moving to our new dealer. Going to be a long three days of moving our stuff, says Tony. Well, good luck. I hope it all, I hope it all goes well. Harvester. It's gonna leave it right here for now. Get this last bit of uh, oats put back in the silo. That is a job well done on our first few fields of harvest. I think we've harvested one, two, three, five fields of oats since we started using the map. And pretty much that's how many fields it took to uh, provide, hopefully, enough straw bedding. Wash the harvester? Well, I can't wash it out in the middle of a field, sir. I don't I don't keep a pressure washer in my pocket. Well, sometimes I do. You all right, Stevie? Yeah, I'm just trying to find where we left the trailer. Uh, it should be near that field by the church. Where we harvested okay. last night. Did you find it? Uh, we left the next book out. Okay. I got made fun of last night about the auger wagon. I don't know if that guy's in here right now. But if you are, say hello. I'm going to show you that I got a smaller one. <laughs> More fitting for the uh, small-scale farming. So we still kept the big Alice. Uh, the, he's hooked up to two gravity wagons. And then uh, I downsized from the Avalanche to a Kins 851 with just the single axle. So it's still big, but it's a lot smaller. This one only holds 30,000 liters. So we tried to shrink it up a little bit so it wasn't so oversized. All right, so you, I need a telehandler, right? Yep. Pain for it. Steel Steermans. slow. Woo! Come on, baby. Oh, wow. This thing's real slow. Uh, hauling oats. Missed. Yeah. Hauling oats. That's right. What's up, Channing Hensley? Uh, we got Brandon Umstead. Jason Schistler. Good evening. You have the instant bonus from Seasons Pass on this map. The instant bonus? What's that? I got that Volvo. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't have it on... Well, actually, we all have the season pass, so yeah. Yeah. I haven't put it on the map, but I should. That's good thinking. I forgot all about that. If you uh, already purchased... Or, yeah, if you purchased the season two pass for year two, you'll see that it gives you a new... What is that, a wheel loader? Yes, right here, the BM Volvo LM845. So this, you get this from Giants uh, right away as a bonus for uh, purchasing year two season pass. It's not too shabby. I forgot all about this thing. Yeah, we'll have to get that added for something to do on the farm somewhere. All right, Stevie. I am reporting for bail duty. We shall be on my way back there. 
Uh, we got Jacob Nukestar dropping five gifted memberships. That is Mr. Jacob Nukestar. Thank you so much, Jacob. It uh, looks like Quadruple A got a gifted. George Tack, Jason Schistler, Chris Lynch, and Stetson Phillips all coming in with the gifted memberships from Mr. Jacob Nukestar, who's always throwing gifted subs for the, the community. Uh, thank you so much, Jacob. Appreciate you, Daddy. Thank you very much, sir. And hopefully everybody had a good uh, Tuesday. Hopefully everybody's doing all right out there. Beacon's off now that we're in the field. Uh, we got Brandon Umstead with the Jack Wacker member for one month now. Says, this has been an awesome one month. Well, thank you, Brandon. And I appreciate the uh, support there, sir. Uh, that sick mate. What did Carl say? What's sick? All the uh, Volvo? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, that tractor's not bad. Not bad. Uh, thank you, square bales, so cows get a good square meal. That's right, Danny. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> and these are custom bales from the uh, Heston baler. So it makes, like, uh, different type of bales than the uh, standard FS-22 bales. It's pretty cool. Little push. Well, what's going on out here? What's going on out here? There we go. Was there any that needed unloaded, or did you unload them out of the bale or two? Nope, I unloaded them out of the bale. Thank you, sir. We got two, four, we got six left. I'm going to make this a little easier on myself. And just put them next to each other. Say easier as I jack it all up. It's an okay Tuesday. Wanted to go to the gym, but woke up with a cold. But I got my vitamin C, and yeah, I've, I've kind of felt like felt like crap all day today, Joshua. But mostly from uh, lack of uh, quality sleep. Just haven't been sleeping good. So I feel you, buddy. Just spike that right in the middle there. Alright, that was supposed to do better than that. Bales are not being nice to me, Stevie. Are they ever, though? They're giving me a hard time. This is why we have Gumby. Gumby's good at loading them up. He is great. I hope he gets that all figured out. I feel bad. That's no fun. Why is happy birthday playing in the background, chat? Is some, is, there's got to be someone in here who's your birthday. That's why that's playing. That's why it's playing. Whose birthday is it in the chat? Come on. I know it's somebody's birthday. Always somebody's birthday. Yeah, usually I do decent at loading up bales, but not doing good tonight. Dang. Ugh, mess. Uh, my, my Mario Ford, it's your birthday today, really? Well, there you go, that's why. Flood water, it's not your birthday. Is it? No, it's not. You're being sarcastic, aren't you? But it might be Mario's. I believe him. It might be his. 
you. Well, happy birthday to all the people who have a birthday today. <laughs> I've just noticed... Hey, buddy, just left the Christmas concert at the school. How'd that go? Were uh, one of the kids in it, or...? Goodness, we do need Gumby chat. I'm struggling. And Stevie just plops him right in front of me. He's like, here, take him. <laughs> I see how it is. Usually you can just back up and they flip over, but these are different type of bales. Maybe they're just giving us a hard time. That's my excuse. Yep, it's yeah, the bale's Gumby. fault. Please come back, Gumby. Hurry up. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. When's your birthday? September. Mine's been oh, gone. Yeah, it already happened, huh? It's gone. Both kids were in it. Good evening, Frosty. Just got home from pizza dinner. What kind of pizza did you have? I had a calzone yesterday. The kids had pizza. Well, we ordered pizza, but I always get myself a little calzone. Like a sausage, or not sausage, uh, pepperoni and cheese calzone. Mm, love a good calzone. Okay. How many bales are left down there, Stevie? Um, I've got one coming up from field 25. I'll collect the rest from the far side. Okay, I'm gonna start strapping some of these so we don't lose all our beautiful progress. <laughs> there we go. Bring the tractor down here a little closer to where we're working. Mine is January. We'll be 50. My fiance hates pizza. What? I'm going to be the store after I get out tonight, then cooking beef burgers. Plain cheese and a pepperoni simple night. There you go. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, I never understood calzones. It's just a pizza folded in half. It's delicious, though. It's a delicious folded pizza, all right? Don't be hating. Delicious. Right, there we go. Is this too much green? Is there too many John Deere's around here, chat? Can you tell Gumby's on this farm? <laughs> nah, I, li I like green too. I like green too. There's old Stevie holding up traffic there. I like that little uh, tractor. I love that thing. I like it. It's another one of the goodies I found. What's up, Eric Taylor? So, uh, Stearman, I haven't really seen in the chat what's going on. Are you having to re-download them all? Probably. Is that what's going on? See, I think there's something going on with these uh, custom bales. The way that just plopped right off, that's not normal. It like flicked no, off like a little if, toy. Yeah, I wonder if there's a weight imbalance or something. Something. And don't seem to be handling like normal.
if you want to just leave that one on the ground, I'll take it with the other telehander when I drive it back. So you could transport one bale back. I'll transport one bale. And... Uh, I think I got this. Got it? All right, let's see Stevie with his skills here. Wasn't it Farm Sim 19? You remember there'd be collision with the straps? I don't think it is on 22. I don't think so either. But do you remember that? Yeah. I remember that. I was, I hated that. <laughs> I think it doesn't do it. Yeah, see, that's nice. We might not have done it as beautiful as Stearman does, but I think it looks pretty darn good. Good job, sir. Oh, look at him even getting it all fancy, pushing it in. Look at that. Here we go. A beast. All right, I'll meet you back at the farm. Ten four. So we have about 70,000 liters of straw bales loaded up here. Not too shabby. Put you on the five minute clock. Steerman, you always have issues. Well, between his internet always going out and then this happening, I feel bad. No fun. What did he say? Uh, mod hub issue now? Ugh. Uh, my controller went on the fritz the other day. Luckily, I have a two-year protection plan. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I'm going to bring these all the way down to the big stall. chat so uh, i still i still haven't been able to find the lights for inside this darn massive stall here i don't i don't see light switches anywhere need to find a mod and get german to install them yeah like but on uh, ramp sim, sim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i've i've looked everywhere just stamp no Unless it's hiding, it might be... Maybe it is that one switch in the milk room. Double check, chat. Might be right in here. So there's a switch here. Let's see if that fixes it. That was it. All right, so it's the switch in the milk room. There's two switches. As long as they're both on, it'll turn the lights on in the big stall. All right, I'm gonna start throwing some straw. If you wanna get a telehandler over on the other side, I see I see you parked on the other end. I'm over here on the other other side. So we're gonna try to get all the straw bedding filled up here. What's up, Ace Cat Fishing? That building is a placeable, or is it built into the map? Uh, built into the map, Dave. This map is called Leona, Pennsylvania. Pretty much everything you see is built in by large H mapping. And there's the answer there, Eric. Uh, Leona, Pennsylvania map. What's up, Zach Ryan? Miss Farslane, hello. Hello, hello. So this is actually four sections, chat. You got one pen here, one pen here, and then once you pass this little hallway, you got a pen here and a pen here. So four total pens. 
Uh, this one's good on straw. This one has none, so we gotta get that filled up. I believe we took care of this one. Oh. Yeah, so we're getting there. Stevie's going to load him up. Oh. <laughs> Almost. A little heavy, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'll probably pop in the hill. Almost need a little ramp. <laughs> What's up, Shawnee? Oh, uh, do, do, do. hello. Ace. Are you short? Has light? Yep, I just turned the lights on, Corey. Yep. Too bad the straw doesn't show up on the ground. It, do it does a little bit. It just, they need so much of it. <laughs> that camera collision's annoying. Camera collision? Yeah, my camera keeps switching to inside the barn. Oh, because you're close to the side? Yeah. I'll back up further next time. But yeah, it'll show a little bit of straw, Ian. But yeah, it doesn't fill it up like normal. What's up, Podo? How's Podo doing tonight? Hope you're doing swell, sir. People keep talking about your uh, ducks. Yep, your 24-7 ducks floating in the water. Hi, Frost in chat. Hope all is well. What's up, old crazy granny? I hope you're doing great. We're just putting bedding down for all these, these cows. We got a crap load of cows. I'm going to try, JD. I'm going to try. Doing all right? Good. Good. Kyle Walters, thank you for the $5 super chat. Thank you very much, Sal. Much appreciated. Thank you, Kyle. And thank you all for tuning in. Hope you guys uh, had a splendid day and ready to hang out on the farm with us. I plan to farm for quite a while. I don't know how long Stevie and Stearman have in them, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling fresh. Go as long as you can. I'm gonna go bring up the other telehandler too, so you can uh, have a little more luck getting it in there. Yeah, this one's a little tricky. Problem with this one is it's very slow. It only goes 12 miles an hour max. <laughs> How's the cows doing? They're good. We're gonna actually get them fed tonight. That's that's the goal. Uh, we're just uh, finishing up all the straw bedding that we were trying to finish last night, but uh, my power went out, so we're kind of finishing that up. And then we got tons of grass cutting we're going to be doing. And uh, we're going to do like a mix. We're going to feed them a little bit of grass and hay since it takes time to ferment silage. So we won't be doing TMR until, you know, we get some stuff in the bunkers or in the fermenters. Love the older equipment. Me too. Yeah, we got a lot of old stuff on here. Definitely an older vibe on this map. I love it. Large H modding, mapping. Large H mapping is the modder. And uh, you can go to his itch.io site, large H mapping itch.io. And that's where you can get the heart, the actual link from the guy who made it. And he also has a channel on YouTube where he tries to explain how his maps work when you use them because. A lot of the time, he doesn't have the trigger points. You see how they're not glowing anywhere? 
Like, he does it that way for realism. So you gotta kinda figure it out or watch his videos to figure it out, one or the other. There you go, Stevie. This one will work a lot better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you ever get that fast fermentation mod working? Uh, yeah, it was it was more of a it's a bale pack on the mod hub. Yeah, I, I don't really use it anymore. But that's when you make wrapped bales. All, all it is, the modder who did that, it's on the mod hub. It's, it's the same in-game ones. But when you use those machines, the modded ones he made, it, uh, the silage happens super quick. It ferments real quick, your wrapped bales. I wasn't kidding when I said we'd probably use all this straw. Might have to start splitting it up. Because we got a whole nother pen down there on the right. Is that a rat or squirrel in the cow pen? A uh, rat or squirrel? I didn't catch it. Probably a rat. That's probably more common. <laughs> gotcha, so it won't work with these bales then. No. No. Right, I'm gonna have to swing around back to you. I'll be there soon. No problem. Did you get those bales that were sitting out in this church field? I did. Nice. There's like three of them, wasn't there? Uh, yeah. Nice. Every, every little bit helps. Myself. Yep. Be careful if you itch your eye too hard, you say, oh, hello, Ed Grove, YouTube been better? Yes, much better. It, things work a lot better over here. Much, much better. I do not miss Facebook at all. I love my new red house here on YouTube. Once he loads me up, I'll go to the screen and show you what we're doing, chat, so you can see just how many cows we're dealing with. I knew that oh, look at that thing spinning! <laughs> <laughs> that couldn't have happened twice if you tried. No. I'll run this in. So what do you think the new crops will be for year two? I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited, though. Yeah, they're adding new crops, a new map, lots of new equipment. Yeah, I'm excited to see what they... Uh, I mean, what crops... I don't know. They've, they've covered so many crops. Some, maybe rye, maybe rice. That'd be cool to have some rice equipment and do rice. But I don't know if they'll do that or not. I don't know. It shall be interesting. What's up, Jake Depp from Southern PA? What's going on, man? Did the uh, Leona, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania grab your attention on the title? Yeah, that's uh, this map is based on a real farm up in Leona, Pennsylvania. 
Yeah, Pennsylvania. My bad. I guess that's up on the northern border, almost into New York. So Gumby might not be able to cut grass with us. It's not fun. I miss the green feller. I'm sure he'll make it in just in time. Yeah. Want to switch? We can. Okay. I'll let you load that. And show the chat real quick um if we go to our animal screen we are right now filling up the free stalls i think no free stall pen two free stall pen one is the one i just filled up a little bit there uh special needs pen is the first one on the left when we go in we filled that up last night and then pen three is almost filled so we just want to top off three, two, and one, which I think we'll be able to do that. So the one, the two on the right, and I think the one way up on the left might take a little more. like that music chat <laughs> what's up uh brandon carroll shadow storm how's it going hope your day has been awesome cody it's been all right been all right not too shabby this is why you're the professional like that. <laughs> that Orange. Was smooth. That was first person view too. Yeah, throwing them in here is no problem for me, but loading them up nice on the trailer, that's that's another story. That is the rest. So uh, let me check the menu. Free stall pen two is good enough. How about go down to that far right one? So we should see the numbers start going up on uh, this one right here, chat. Make sure all 180 hit that. Yeah, hit that like button, all 180 of you. All right. And thanks for tuning in. All right, yeah, see the numbers going up right on the right, chat? Beautiful. That's what we want to see. All right. So we still didn't fill them up to the brim, but that'll definitely be a nice head start. And there's still more fields out there in the future that are ready for harvest. Good, good work. Know what all the birthday music's about, chat. Just stand now. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Just park it right there. It's like the second rendition of happy birthday tonight what music channel am i listening to
Are you excited to cut some grass? I know I am. Oh, what in the Gumby's only got a couple of mods left of that. Oh, is he? Okay, okay. So he could be joining us soon. Any moment. Alright. Well, in that case... Um... Let's do a little convoy. We'll, uh... I'm gonna drop the trailer right here. You wanna take this John Deere and this forage wagon to that new silo I put in? And I'll go get the uh, case and bring it over here. What the heck is it? Oh, there she is. Rat. We're gonna start putting a little bit in our new silo that I placed that I showed you guys a little bit ago. And that'll start uh, fermenting some cornmeal and some chaff. And the sooner we get silage made, the better. So that would be quite lovely. I do reckon it'd be quite nice. Yes. I need to put in a pressure washer. Uh, what's up, Dustin Faber? One day, wow, I just worked nine straight and have up the other day off to go in tomorrow. So, hush, yeah, Miss Fireslane's been working like a maniac. Yeah. That back. This uh, tractor's cool. When you go in reverse, the uh, the lights come on automatically when you back up. Pretty sweet. Especially when you're in a garage and don't feel like turning the garage lights on. So we'll hook up to the cornmeal, and we'll meet Stevie over at the uh, silo and get all this stuff thrown in there. And to be able to make cornmeal on this map, you have to have modded earlidge headers. So instead of foraging the corn in, in the chaff like you normally would on this game, uh, there's a script that some of the map makers use for cornmeal, like Westby, Wisconsin, and this map here. So this is cornmeal in here. Fresh and delicious. And we are uh, gonna throw it into the fermenter to turn it into fermented corn meal. What's up, Trace? Thank you for letting... Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I know. I know, buddy. But I hope everything is doing all right. As good as it can be, right? Uh, you need the old corn crib mod. The old corn crib mod. Don't know what that means, laddie. Did it work good, Stevie? Yep. Nice. Good. Hoping it would. I just never know. All right, so this is raw cornmeal going right into the fermenter. And 
then uh, you got to hook up a tractor to a blower so it comes out of the forage into the blower and then it blows it up the pipe so if anybody ever wondered how some of those work when you drive by them that's how it works we're gonna wait for that whole load of uh, cornmeal to go in which it already did so now if we go into our map go into productions and it's this new one right here that I installed so we just put in 25,000 liters of cornmeal raw and Stevie put 7800 chaff so now all we got to do is uh, decide what we want to make. So for this, we're going to activate the earlidge, which requires raw cornmeal. And then corn silage requires chaff to turn into silage. So we're going to activate both of those. So it's going to start making silage and fermented cornmeal. Over time, that'll fill up. Then we can come over here with a mixer, uh, mix the two. So you bring a mixer over to this big old pipe. And then you pick all the ingredients that you have and you mix it and it turns it into TMR and then you go feed all your cows. That's a pretty good process. Makes the game uh, more enjoyable, more to do. went nice and smooth. Want to go park these back under the uh, tree? Yep. You lead the way. It's an old crib that is wood and wire when your corn is on the cob. Oh, really? Where'd you get that silo? It's part of the map. It's part of the map so you can place it. But there's fermenting silos like that on the mod hub, but it's they're not gonna have the cornmeal, but it'll still have. Uh, there's like a U.S. Americans fermenting pack. There's a couple other ones on the mod hub where you can put in chaff, grass, or hay, and it'll ferment it all so you can mix it for TMR. Very nice. Very nice. All right, we can do the one grass area without Gumby. We'll do the uh, the one near field eight. And then when he gets here, we'll do the one where all the tractors are hooked up to the mowers, the, the triple, you know what I mean? Yep. So I'll meet you over there at field eight. Would you like uh, New Holland or John Deere? Uh, I'll take the New Holland. Take the New Holland? All right. Quite lovely, isn't it? It's the Durabine. Nice. So Stevie's going to rock the New Holland here. And uh, I'll rock the... Oh, oh, you want to pick up? No, I was just coming over here. Oh, gotcha. So what we're going to do is just cut all this grass chat and then scoop it up with that other new hole in behind us and go partially feed some animals with some just straight up grass. I know it's not the best thing, but at least it'll put a little food on the table. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? I'll let you be the, the head. Follow you. I'm gonna go around or yeah. Steep Creek, what's up there, buddy? All right. Been full with Donna. I know. I know, Trace. I know. Yeah. My uh, thoughts go out to you and the family. Hope it all uh, gets a little better during the holidays. I know it's a lot to 
to, uh, I wouldn't say deal with. It's a lot to take on. Ooh, I forgot I put little tinted windows on here. Is that too dark for you, chat? I can change the tint on the windows if it's too dark. I was just trying something different. Oh! Gumby has joined the server! At least he's attempting to. It shows that he's trying to join. <laughs> Good stuff. What's up, Marco Salgado? Thank you for showing me the new Holland Combine. I love old farming, so I downloaded it last night. Nice, nice. Yeah, there's there's a not a huge amount on the mod hub, but there's some stuff. Uh, if you're a PC gamer, you definitely got way more selection for sure. Like that uh, combine that St Stevie's using. Well, I don't. I don't think the proper thing is a combine. What's the proper thing they call these? Wind rowers, I think. Um. That's, yeah, because they they leave the single yeah. single row. That that new Holland, I think. I think. No, that's not Skywalker. I know the yellow new Holland over here is by Skywalker, but I'm not sure about the. Uh, that new hauling up the one Stevie's in. Steerman, you got a copy? I do. Whew. Everything all right? It is now. We missed your man. Uh, Pain in yeah, the butt, huh? Fun. Yeah, I ended up having to verify my game files to fix it. Ah. Yeah, dang. So oh. I'm guessing what it automatic because it crashed just down to the windows last night. So I'm guessing it corrupted something in them. Well, good news is we got straw bedding done pretty much, so... I see. You don't have to do any of that. I'm gonna go back and forth for the rest. Stand for? I have six gigs of old stuff for FS22. Nice. Self-propelled hay bin is what Dustin Favors calling it. A self-propelled hay bin. Alrighty then. This John Deere is real quiet as yours. Yeah, this one isn't overly loud. Not too loud. I'm actually farming on FS20 on my phone and watching you stream at the same time, says William Lynch. Very nice. What are you doing on the phone tonight? You doing some harvesting or... What are you doing? Cultivating... We're uh, just trying to get all these cows fed. None of them have actual food. <laughs> Some of them do, just a little bit. But we're going to give them what we can, I guess. Stevie, if you don't mind, I'm going to get a head start on scooping some of this up. Yep, I'll finish cutting up here. I don't know what the heck this music is, chat. I apologize. <laughs> like some of the tracks are good, but some are horrible. Alright, and off we go. So this is just gonna pick up that grass we just cut and throw it right into a trailer. Uh, Caitlin, Caitlin requested a honka tete. There you go, Caitlin.
Glad you made it in, Gumby. I was starting to really, really miss you a lot. <laughs> sure. It's just too much work for me and Stevie. Yeah. Way too yeah, much. Yeah, we need to get help on Loda. <laughs> That it machine just, like, looks sweet. Wanted to do this map by itself. <laughs> yeah, that would. I was gonna. <laughs> I was gonna. I can see it now. The first time after you streamed it, guys, I need you. Yeah, guys. Can't yeah. do this by myself. I guess that crone wagon out, out at our base there to your left, Steve, that could probably be used too. Yeah. Yeah. You want me to grab it? Unless. Yeah, yeah. Don't take my John Deere at the front driveway, though. I'm using that to uh, transport this wagon to go feed some cows. Did I not put my header down? On. Oh, we must be full. Alrighty then. That is 95%, but putting any more in there. What are you drinking, Frosty? And what was for dinner? I have water. I drink tons and tons of water. So Gumby's gonna... He, welcome, Gumby. Everybody say hi. Hi, Gumby. He finally got in here. So he'll be uh, picking up with the old crone trailer and a John Deere. Gonna disconnect from this. Taking this grass straight down to this barn right down the road. I'm gonna feed them this straight up grass. About time, says Tom. <laughs> uh, dinner I had. What did I have for dinner? Leftover pizza. I just had two pieces of cheese pizza. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing too exciting. I think we got to swing around here. <clears throat> so this is a smaller pen. I think there's only like 15 dairy cows here. Where's the uh, feed trigger? Popped up for a second. Oh, there it is. Ooh, that's a small trigger. Unless I'm just... I guess this is the trough right here? Right, man. It starts... And where that's going. Interesting. Maybe it'll start forming a pile here. Don't know. Can you put stones in that front weight? I don't think so. No, it's just for decoration. 
Uh, some machines are hard on diesel fuel. Probably have to get a fuel truck to come. Probably. What's up, Donna Smith? Oh, she's Donna says hi, Gumby. Okay. okay. There's a mower header for that 1919. For the uh, John Deere? Okay, why is this not showing... Oh, there it is, there it is. It's always going to show silage, no matter what, even if it's straight up grass. But see how that's slowly getting a little bigger there? So we'll give them the whole trailer. Just about empty. Come on. New oh the New Holland. Yeah, there's uh yeah, there's a mower header. I, I wanted a pickup header for it. You talking about the forage wagon? Yeah, if you look over here. It's all these tools right here. So you got your mower, your sickle head, pickup head, which is what we're using, and then there's uh corn head. Yep. All right, we are empty. Yes. Yep. Yeah. 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 Hi, Stevie. Stevie, I'll drive next to you while you pick up. That'll be fun. Temple? You want to rock the New Holland? <clears throat> how's the, uh, how's that forge wagon working, st uh, Steerman? Good. Surprisingly, with this small tractor. Yeah, I think it only required, like, 170 horsepower. Something like that. Which way we want to go here? Uh... Okay. No. There we go, a little teamwork going on there. The one you have does grain, there's a modded one for grass. Oh, gotcha. Look at all this teamwork. Man, I love it. Love it. Love it. It does, Kevin. It really does. Uh, Donna's watching on her phone. Ha Hi, Donna. Hello, Donna. set up, huh? It is. It is something we never do. I like it. I like it a lot. Gumby's cleaning up the leftovers. Oh, you fool already. Yep. You want to, uh... Alright, you, you remember that pen next to where that slurry pipe is down at the main farm? Yeah. You want to try filling that with some grass? Yeah, I can. Oh. Kind 
kind of works nicer when I'm right next to you, huh? Mm -hmm. It's corn! <laughs> love that video. Hilarious. My kids love it. They play it all the time. It's corn! Stevie working hard, chat. Look at him in his tractor. He's just, he's just having a ball, isn't he? Having so much fun. Got his door oh, open, letting that man. fresh air in. Yeah. Smell of fresh mown grass. Yeah. Hi, Donna. Hope you're doing all right. Hope you're doing all right. <clears throat> Jordan, you better be sorry. I'm kidding. Hope you're doing well. Let's see. Some machines are hard. So... This field uh, provided quite a bit of grass. Yes. How much does that trailer hold, Gumby? Thirty-three thousand. Nice. And mine's twenty-five. Thirty-three, forty-three, fifty-three, fifty-eight. Probably get a full load here almost. So about eighty thousand liters of grass on this one field. Not too shabby. Gumby, we only got two rows left, so probably be able to catch it all. Gotcha. What's up, Turbo? What's going on, Mike? Mr. Turbo in the high house. We're just scooping up grass. <clears throat> and if anybody's just tuning in wondering what this map is, this is Leona, Pennsylvania by Large H Mapping. Uh, if anybody on it's a PC map it does not work on console uh, but if you've ever played on like Westby Wisconsin definitely has that kind of vibe oh shout very good very good map definitely enjoying it Should be able to pick up the rest. Yeah, I'm at seventy-six percent. Got one little row left. Want to get these little ones real quick? I'll just park here. Yeah. Should shoot it in there. Hello, Diane Kurtz. How you doing, Diane? Oh, there's the mod. Uh, or there's the website for Large H Mapping. If you're on PC, go check him out. He's got other maps, too, uh, that I do plan to check out someday. There's Han Hannah, Indiana, which I think is more of a big, bigger style farm. And then he's also got Greystone Farms, which I've actually streamed before. Uh back when I did late nights on the tube. That was the one that was mainly like a horse map. You took care of horses. He had like horse stalls all over and that was a very cool map too. Loved the layout on that one. fit the rest. I'll just park right here for you. Alright, last little bit right here. I 
Detroit chip company called Better Made makes these really good chocolate covered potato chips. Where did you find the old GMC semi? Uh, I, I mostly find everything from uh, King Mods, I believe is the name of the, the site. Farm, it's like King, I, don't know, I, I think that's what it's called. That's where I get a lot of stuff. And then I get a lot of stuff from the main itch.io sites. It takes some time. I'll spend hours. I'm not even kidding. I'll spend hours looking for good mods and going, trying to get them from the official place that they come from. Because, unfortunately, there's always people that steal mods and say they're, they're theirs and upload them to all these different mod sites. So I try my best to get them uh, straight from... I was going to, this white stall down here, Stevie, is where I was going to park the mowers, this white shed. And huh? Just because we got a lot of clutter up there. How'd that go, Gumby? It went good. Surprisingly, it went in that tight of a fit. So they took the whole wagon? Yep. And they're maybe a thousand or two liters from being full. Nice. So they are... I think it's called Open Freestyle, I believe. Yes. Those are dairy cows. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the ones that are back in that one. Yeah, yep, yep. Nice. Yep. So they do produce milk, and they are very low on straw. <laughs> Dang it. How do they get? That must be where the static ones are. That must be where the straw goes. Mm. I bet. Cool. And then these uh, right here, chat, is the little one oh. that we just fed some grass. Wrong barn, Frosty. Open freestall, the, you said. The one I just filled up was the open freestall, but it's not the yeah. static one. It's the one no, behind the static. No, I mean for straw bedding. I think you have to put it in the static area. Maybe? I don't remember. Because where else are we going to put straw? You don't straw bed an open free rain. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe. You're talking, I guess it, it was the one outside across from the slurry pipe? Yep. Yeah, see, that's got my curiosity. I, like where They're we... linked, I think. I uh, believe. The static and then that one, are, I think, are linked. But I'm not 100% sure. Gotcha. This trigger points. Weird. It's only in one little spot on the corner. What I can tell. Yeah, I do a lot of uh, a lot of searching ace ace catfishing. Like I said, I try to get it from the legit spot the best I can. So right now we're filling up this top one. They're almost full. Maybe we'll have some leftovers. We can run down to the other farm. Tomorrow, tier three members, if you're listening, will be on... Uh, Silver Run. So tier three members farming tomorrow on Silver Run map. We'll be doing forestry and all that good stuff. All right, they are topped off here, but they have zero straw bedding. So they won't be producing as much. What am I doing? All right, I'm gonna run down to the main farm and then we can get ready for the other grass cutting party but with the other mowers I got and set up on the other field
So many cows. Have a good one, Brian Santor. Can't wait for tomorrow night's member stream. I just started my own silver run. Nice. Yeah, I've been really enjoying silver run. Really fun map. we got going on over here so there are just cows galore um, I don't want to give them grass I want to give the dairy ones hay so I believe Stearman just got back from feeding this trough right here I think that's a trough Yeah, looks like there's a little bit of food in there. <laughs> Is that the one you filled? No, I filled up the barn because I couldn't find a trigger point back here for him. Oh, wasn't there one? Mm-mm. What? So I just, I just stuck it in this barn right here. Okay. Because it looks like all this right here is linked together, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, there we go. Did he find one for you? Yeah, because these are separate. I was going to say, I couldn't find a trigger point. Maybe it was a trailer? Maybe. So which ones are these called? The main farm pasture, the Angus. Okay. Main farm pasture, Angus. So gotcha. we're filling them yeah, up. Sir. Yeah, third one down. But like straw, where are you gonna put straw? That's what I'm wondering. Like, I would say the reed, but that wouldn't make sense. I try. I tested it last night. Did you? Yeah. I think in his video he said some of them don't require straw because they're open range, but I don't know. Right. I just don't know. I was on Silver Run map. Can't figure it out. Jordan, you just cut wood and sell it. <laughs> yep, buy the old saw mill and throw all your trees in there. I don't think he uh, uses any mods, though. So it might yeah. be a minute before he gets the old mill. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the old mill, you got to buy the old mill to be able to produce your own uh, wood l lumber products, all that good stuff. If we don't use the power tools, or if you're on console, you can download the government subsidy. Just fast forward time. Yep. Government subsidy sign. Get the job done. So still lots of cows unfed, huh? Yeah, but we'll get them. Yeah, we're gonna go make some hay now. Hay now! Good night. head up to that next site. Yeah, are you using any mods, Jordan? That's definitely one you want to look into getting if you want to just not do the grind. Um, go get that government sign. All you do is place it on your property and every hour that goes by you get money. And that way you can get that old sawmill quick. When I put logs in the pond at the old sawmill, my game freezes. I've heard that, Logan. I've heard a lot of people talking about that. It didn't happen to me, but I've heard a lot of people talking about having that issue. Nice little road trip, chat. We got a nice little setup for you here in a minute. We're gonna be uh, cutting grass with different equipment. 
tethering it, wind rowing, and I guess we could forge, like kind of like we did on the last thing with the New Holland. Oh yeah, that's where the New Holland goes. Dang it. My bad. I told you the wrong place. That that yellow one goes in this wooden barn here. I'll bring her back up after. Yeah, no rush. We could bail it and have Gumby load it for us. <laughs> but I'm wondering. So you can do that on a with a mixer? Just be able to drop drop the bales in. Just shoot out straight up hay. It won't require you to make TMR. I wouldn't think so. Okay. I've done it on uh, 19 that way. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we'll do that then. We'll make uh, bales out of it. So we'll all cut together, then we'll tether together, and then after that we'll split up and have uh, one wind row and one bale and um, <laughs> somebody can start doing something else, I guess. Maybe start harvesting another field for straw. All right get this part of Gowan. Oh, let me show everybody the lineup here. Uh, we got <laughs> we got Gumby and the old Universal. Look at this raggedy beast. <laughs> we got some very old tractors lined up for cutting grass here. Oh, he looks like a pro in there with his little green suit. Universal 65. Oh, you moved. I don't know hit the door. You were going to try to smack me, weren't you? And we're all, we're all hooked would. up to Kubota's, little Kubota cutters. And then Stevie will be rocking the Ford 7000. And he's got the uh, convertible doors, no doors. Very nice. And then I got the old uh, Alice Crop Hustler 200. All right, let's rock and roll, bud. I might oh, want to turn her on, right. Gumby. I did. I must have shut it off. <laughs> That's more frosty. <laughs> you like those, Frank? I really want to use that mill, but I don't know how to fix that issue. Uh, go on the uh, forums. Like, go on Giant's website. And see if... Because I, I know I've heard of other people having the same issue. I was going to say, maybe try to reload the save. I don't know if it works or not, though. Are you console or PC? Yeah, that would be the next question. Because you might have to do what Gumby's just done and uh, verify and check the files and... Papa had a 260 Alice. He's on PC. Uh, uh, try re-verifying the text your files and stuff again. Yep, that's always a good uh, good thought there. First, yeah. If you didn't hear Stevie's kind of kind of hard to hear a little bit, but uh, verify the integrity of your files in Steam. You can do that by right-clicking on Farm Sim in your library. And then I believe properties. Yep. And then you'll see an option to verify, and it'll like scan the whole game. All, and it'll, it'll, sometimes it fixes problems. So you give that a shot. I've, I've done that many times. And it seems to help out a lot. I was going to say, if that don't work, then the save backup file may work for that map. Gumby's tractor stinks, huh? <laughs> it does. <laughs> Seven miles an hour. Hey, I could act like Fireslane if you'd rather me to. Oh, no, you're good. <laughs> we'll use real speed. Or, Stevie, you can, we can pass him if you want. <laughs> <laughs> See how quick I can catch up, chat. That Universal tractor's struggling. 
but it still runs, so you can't Seven get Seven miles an hour. Yeah, this is going 14. I think we found something that Gumby goes slow in. Yeah, he probably hates it. <laughs> <laughs> Too slow for me. Hopefully the, the the viewers and the chat, hopefully you're enjoying the uh, teamwork we got going on here. This is definitely what I was envisioning for this map, and I'm loving it. So I hope you guys are loving it too. enjoying it oh yeah always oh yeah loving it man. like i don't mind big farm and machinery but i love i love this little stuff especially with some teamwork love it. and some old school at that yeah what's up ann mcpherson He's not used to being in last place. <laughs> How quick that we got that done as a trio. My goodness. Beautiful. I, I knew he was going to do that. <laughs> I had to do it since you said something. Trying to be nice. He tried to race me to Japan this morning in flight, and he had to take short cuts, though. Uh-oh. Good night. I got Oh, I forgot to lower my darn mower. Dang it. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Nice job, boys. What do you think, chat? Pretty nice, not bad. Uh, at least you have the Ford in the right spot. You can pull or push it out of the way. <laughs> What's up, Ty Tyron Harrison says, just found your channel. Well, thank you. Thanks for tuning in. We're having some fun here on, uh... oh, had a brain fart. Leona, Leona, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Leona, Pennsylvania map. So uh, thanks for tuning in, brother. And anybody else that's new here, hit the like, hit subscribe. Hope you're enjoying the show. All right now we get to get out some even uh, older, well, I don't know, older equipment, but smaller equipment. We're going to do some uh, teamwork tethering. We're making the hay right now. So uh, fire up some other old tractors we got. Steerman, I got you a John Deere here. Yay. And Stevie, I got you a nice little uh, Massey 253 with the uh, grassland tires. I'll go get mine out of the shed. We'll be rocking a Minneapolis Moline. Light in here? Yes, there is. Yeah. All right, I told you we were going old school and small machinery. Well, this is getting pretty small, I'd say. All right. Oh, that thing looks so tiny, Stevie. <laughs> Oh, man. 
Look how little Stevie's tractor is. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I like it. Hey, <laughs> that's the job. <laughs> it's the job done, right? Wrong button, Stevie. <laughs> See ya, man. What are we, uh, uh, what's your speed cruising at? Nine at the moment. Yep, same here. Cool. There's a lot of bumps in this field. Yes, there is. Well, this little section that had bushes in it, that was like a divider. Mm -hmm. But we got the uh, real, or the cut bushes mod, whatever. It just mows everything. Thank you, Ann. Steerman, congratulations you, on the Airbus controller, says Bama Nation. Thank you. That is pretty awesome. Right around Christmas time, too. Beautiful. It's a very nice present. Yeah. I get to enlist Stevie to help me set it up. Oh, yeah. That'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I can send you my config files. <laughs> Stevie's a great teacher. He is. Taught me how to fly. And I probably forgot it all, dang it. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> I wrote a I lot mean, of it down, though, so I got a little diary. My air, mm -hmm. my uh, flight diary. Ooh, that right, John Deere sounds great. It does. What'd you say, Steve? Hey, a couple of flights and it'll start coming back to you. Yeah, it'll, it'll come back in time. I think one of my flights equals almost the whole entire time you have for the company. Probably. Think chat. Quite relaxing, isn't it? It really is. I and we're knocking it out pretty quick. Oh yeah. See, stream-wise, if I had to do this solo, I'd have to go with like medium equipment. I would it'd take forever with this one tractor. And right. We're we're making it. Look easy. Frosty, did you miss some spots? Nope. That's your path. <laughs> it's all Stevie. <laughs> Unless it's bouncing. Maybe it's bouncing and not catching it all. I was going to say, I think it was. Yeah. It's... Well, doesn't it uh, automatically mix it in anyway, right? Yeah, I think so. It's a nice little feature. Love the old trackers. Me too, man. Me too. I'm that beast. Love the uh, narrow twins on the front. How's the old Massey treating you? It just struggles on the hill about it all. He looks so tiny. <laughs> he really does. <laughs> uh, it looks like a little toy tractor. <laughs> oh, love it. He looks like one of the power wheel tractors compared to ours. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, like That's something you'd get done. your kid. <laughs> yeah. He did that on purpose. I thought you were gonna go though. <laughs> well, I had it maxed at nine. I don't know what else you want me to do. So we'll, we'll 
have one person win row, one bale, and then uh, it's going to be round bales. So we got that round trailer over here. We'll just need a telehandler brought over here. Trying to think where the the closest telehandler is at our main base. There's a Or do you want to use that new wheel loader? Ooh, yeah, good thinking. Because those are probably going to be some good sized bales. Most likely. Good idea. Yeah, we'll purchase that new Volvo. Show everybody yet. Yep. Good idea. Bye, Stevie. Eh, you're not leaving me behind. <laughs> so we'll get the uh, year two season pass bonus if you purchased it. Um, there's a, a tractor you get, a wheel loader. So we'll use that to load up bales. And we'll use that thin little Oh, did, did I put one of those trailers over here? Dang it. Not sure. Mm, that's just a decoration. Um, well, you know what? I'll just put another one over here. <laughs> yeah. All right. First, I'll get the trailer. Hay hauler bumper pool. that and we're gonna buy this bad boy right here the bm volvo lm845 Let's see what kind of tires it has look it's got almost all the end game ones we'll do continental something to manage bales with. See how this attachment works. It doesn't go to it, but we can still see if it works good. All right, let's check it out. Check it out. Very nice. What do you think, chat? A little overkill, but I like it. It's nice. And it looks pretty old, too. And that is going to work. Beautiful. Looks nice. This looks sharp, huh? That's the uh, attachment for the that smaller case wheel loader. All right, so who wants to win row? Don't mind. And how much horsepower? Let me see. Wind rower, wind rower. That requires 80 horsepower. So you should be good. Yeah, should be good with almost any of them. And then uh, Gumby, I'll do some bailing to start out. Gotcha. Ninety-five horsepower. Making sure I have enough power, chat. 95. Ooh, 
Alice has 94. <laughs> A little stinker. 58. Alright, looks like I might have to use the big John Deere there. Or no, you have it. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna snag this. Go for it. The Alice probably could pull it off, but that one horsepower might be the difference. Might not work. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I got a tractor across the street. But this will look nice. This will work. That John Deere. You do. You do. What's that? I said you got two of them over here. I know. I could have used either one, huh? Yeah, this kind of looks good together anyway, huh? The baler's yeah. pretty big. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks fresh. Nice. So Stevie is out there wind rowing. We are going to start scooping it up. She's old, though. Don't want to tear it up. <laughs> Uh, Miss Fire Slane is very well behaved. She is. She always is. He's pedaling that massy fast. He had to hammer down. He wasn't messing around, was he? Now, let me see what kind of options are on this bad boy. Turn on Baylor. Turn on automatic drop. Lower. Good to go. Woo! Go down, Bobby. That is a bumpy field, isn't it? Some hefty bales. Probably a good thing we got that ball, though. They look like it. Nine. It went out yet. Nine thousand liters. Oh wow. All right, here comes Steerman scooping it up. Let's see if that uh, that old tractor can handle it. No problem. Beautiful. So if you see me go flipping down the hill, it's because I hit a bump. <laughs> no, I'm it's watching. Bump driving. Man, yeah, this feels super bumpy. Holy cow. Sorry, Steve, you get out of your way. No, you're good. <laughs> oh, it is. It is tiring. <clears throat> What music? I don't know, Duane. You know what? Speaking of the music, this music's horrible. Let me switch it up. That is so bad. What you think, Stevie? Long ways? Yeah. You run the risk of dropping it otherwise. There we go. Yeah, that was a little rough. <clears throat> John Deere Green on a hot summer night. We want arcade. Oh, arcade music. <laughs> I got a little country on now. Very quiet song at the moment, but you should hear it a little better on some of the other tracks. Bailer, bailing's always a little loud. 
and it goes well with Barbara. It does. They're nice. Rough ride, that's for sure. Woo. Mm -hmm. And I think probably we'll start feeding the uh cows in the four slot, the big dairy barn, try to get them as much hay as we can. down where this line I just started. How's that little trailer working? Pretty good, actually. Yeah, I thought it looked kind of neat. That steerman working hard, loading up them bales. Professional. So, Stevie, you said, like, you don't have to pick up every last little crumb. It eventually disappears the next growth cycle, right? It should, but it depends on the map. Okay. <clears throat> that Ford doing all right with that? Doing pretty good. I thought she'd struggle, but doing good. up Mr. Floof says hey hey how we all doing we're doing all right bringing in some uh, hay, hay bales for our cows we just started using this map so instead of waiting all that time for uh, silage to ferment we got to give them cows something to eat and we got a lot of cows we got about what did I say last night like 220 head of cattle something like that quite a bit of mouths to feed So fit about four on there, huh? Yeah. Too shabby. Sorry. Ooh, I'll and you can strap him in. Thanks. Ooh, nice. Hang on. That's the huge spot there, Foster. Yeah, I, I didn't realize the bale was coming out. <laughs> you want to switch it up for a minute? Yeah, we can. I see you got much left, huh? Yeah, so I'm going up to the freestyle pins, right? To our, where the uh, special needs ones is yeah. with the four slots? Yeah. Yep. Can't afford just wanted to make sure. Does yeah. your other tractor go faster? What's that? So does this other tractor over here go faster? Yeah. Take whatever floats your boat. It's and a uh, faster. yeah, we'll just drop the bales off over there next to the barn, and then we'll all meet up yep. there after we're done and get them all fed.
bouncy ride, huh, Stevie? <laughs> I wonder if the Baylor is making it bouncy or something. That seems a little too bouncy. How do you like the first year of FS22? And y'all excited for year two? Yeah. Uh, that's the uh, Volvo wheel loader we just bought back there. That's part of the uh, season two pass bonus. So we, we're using that to load up the bales on a little trailer. <clears throat> yeah, I'm excited. That new map looks pretty cool. It's very nice. Quite a bit of bales out of here. Big bales. I mean, not a lot of bales, but they're big. They're nine thousand each. Pretty nice. Yeah. That's four, five, six so far. Seven. Four, five. So yeah. Good chunk of hay. Season year is out now. Season year? What's that mean? What do you mean? Season year. Season year two? Yeah, year two, yeah. Yep. I uh, I bought it yesterday. It was on Steam a little earlier than it was supposed to be. <laughs> Found out that wasn't supposed to be that way. Giants hadn't even <laughs> released it yet. I was gonna say, that's like twice they've done that. Yeah. Steam's, Steam doesn't mess around. Mm -hmm. Probably one more, yeah, one and a half swipes here. I'm gonna say Rhett. Uh, I think the first DLC comes out in quarter one of next year. Yep. I can't. What, did it say which one the map comes with? No. Ah, that looks. That's what I'm most excited about. That map looks good. But yeah, season one, loved it. Very happy with all the DLCs. Um, the uh, pumps and hoses, I only used it once on a small map. It's a little too much for me to handle by myself. <laughs> but it's awesome. It's just a lot to do for one person. But uh, very cool. And uh, Silver Run, love it. That's so much fun. We've been having a lot of fun with members on uh, Silver Run. Right. Beautiful. Got her all done, Gumby. You want to load me up, Frosty? Yeah. Would love that. that. I would love it. <laughs> kind of like that, uh, that little Ford, Stevie. It's a nice little tractor. It is. She's beautiful. Nice interior. Very nice. Yeah. Try to load them up in first person view for the first bail.
Did, did it push them for you? Yeah, you can push them. Oh, Just sweet. drop it, and then when you put the next one, I need to push it up. Nice. Yeah. I'll get that one in front of Stevie so it's out of his way. Nine thousand liters. This thing's handling it like it's no no problem at all. Yeah, it's nice and smooth controls too. Surprisingly. Sharp. Sounds nice. I like it. Very cool. Uh, Kevin Flores. Coming in with a $10 super chat says, Frosty, I've noticed you are getting at least twice the viewers lately compared to a couple of weeks ago. I'm glad the stream is prospering. Great map. Can you show us the old Chevy two-door truck? The old Chevy two-door truck. The old, oh, the old Chevy two-door truck. Last time on the field that we were working on earlier. Yours? The cross what he's on about? The red one? Say, Stevie's ain't a Chevy. Yeah, yours is a Ford, isn't it? Mm -mm. This is the Dodge. Oh yeah, yours is a Dodge. You talking about the Dodge, the the uh, the reddish metallic one? Or are you talking about my little sh my uh, old like '80s Chevy sitting in front of the? Uh, I don't know which one you're talking about. That's the only Chevy I think we got on here. Well, that's cool how they push. Nice. Right. Is there any other one? Nope. One more. Power out. That's more of a request, Rhett Acres. What did he say? 20 questions with Kevin. <laughs> Probably end of next year, the expansion, so it's going to be the last one to come out the map. Gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> Mr. Floof. Who's Mr. Floof? You're acting like you... The way you're talking is almost as if you're uh, an employee at Giants or something, huh? Who's Mr. Floof? Whoever you are, thanks for joining in. What do you think of this old uh, Volvo Poto? Pretty sweet, huh? That's for the uh, season or the year two season pass bonus. You get it just for uh, purchasing year two pass. Pretty nice. They lock it. There you go, Stevie. So I can put my tractor back up. And that's all the bales? Uh, that I see. Nice. So we got eight, eight bales. Total. Eight times nine is what? 72? Last, last time. I'm not good at math. I think that's... Yeah. Yeah. 72,000 liters of hay. Splendid, mate. What splendid. I will meet you guys down there. Fun, Steve. I'll follow. I'll show you the way. Who can be? Who can? Let's see everyone's truck to cover them all, says Kevin. That's a lot. You still have your van, Frosty? Yeah. Well, oh, did you notice that? I don't remember showing anybody the van last night. Oh. Uh, I think you went by it. Oh, so someone, you just noticed it sitting there, Walter. Yeah, I got to show you guys my awesome van. Unless you're talking about in real life. You're talking about in real life? In real life, we don't have the van anymore. It finally, uh, well, it didn't die, but it was getting close. It just kept leaking oil. Even after all the repairs, it's still leaking oil. So, uh, like I said, Miss Frosty's been killing it this year with her job. And uh, she wanted to get something something to replace the old van. She was sick of the van life. <laughs> so we are no longer with the old uh, leaking odyssey. So if that's what you meant, then no, we don't have the real van. But I do have a van on this map and I'll show you, it's very fancy. 
You're gonna be jealous. Definitely be jealous. That ball of is making me want to play some AFS, says Poto. It's pretty nice. Quite lovely. I'm trying this, Poto. <laughs> right here's where I unloaded, Stevie. Once we're going in this big barn. They come lost this side right here. Just so you're aware. How come Mr. Floof didn't answer my question? Didn't that seem a little sus? He seemed like he was like the vice president of the Giants the way he was hey, talking. Hey, you before you dump him. Wait till Frosty gets over here. I'll let you dump him. Yeah, I was thinking we'll do one bale per... Yeah. Just so we even it out, because we got a lot of cows to feed. Right. Where right you on. at, Frosty? I just got right, here. You're coming. You ready? It's good here. Yep. Oh. Ooh. Oh. That's pretty cool. Ain't it? That's pretty cool. Yeah, they just roll off and you just drive away? That was pretty cool. I like that. But you yeah. did hit the milk truck with a 9,000 liter bale. Probably put a dent in my old international truck. Yeah. I can do worse driving it, so why are you complaining? He did great. Stevie, you want to grab a telehandler and I'll go grab a mixer and bring it on over. I sure parked him in front of the red barn over here. I'm going to drive this back and then I'll be back to join y'all. Painful. Thank you again, see. Kevin, for that $10 super chat. I really appreciate it, buddy. Have Stevie sit under it next time. <laughs> <laughs> now, if we do that, who's going to help you through Tarkov, photo? You'd be lost without Stevie. Uh, front. Oh, I got to show him the van. In front of the, like, out by the main road by the, uh, the house, Stevie. That's where the telehandlers are. All right, let's fire up an old David Brown tractor here. Yeah. Glad to see everything is working today. Yeah, me too. You mean the power not going out? <laughs> Shouldn't have said nothing though. <clears throat> say yesterday it was kind of odd i lost water and you lost power yep you lost water yeah we lost water for like four hours yesterday they really? had a main line break in the town the whole entire town was without water well, we lost power in my neighborhood for f about four hours <laughs> yeah <laughs> stevie are you having trouble finding the telehandler um i'm i'm right by it i'm right where i am is where they are i, I parked them in front of the the barn. I'm not surprised Stevie can't find it. <laughs> Nicky Stewart, hello. So Daddy had to be. So Daddy had to buy a new one. Yes. No. Miss Frosty bought it. I haven't. I haven't been doing as great this year on money. So that that was her call. She's been working her butt off, and she's a realtor. So she's had a very good year. So she went and got herself a nice car. All right, I gotta. Sh Have you seen my van, Stevie? Uh -huh. Don't know. Hop on out. You're gonna love it. It's right up here, right in the driveway. Chat. One of the most beautiful vehicles you've ever seen, right here. That's my ride. Don't be hating. You know you love that beautiful bean footage. It's a Gumby ride. I think it's a beautiful it's a ride. Thing. They don't make cars like this no more. That's my Dodge Caravan. Holla! Hey, yo. Bet I couldn't stick a couple bales in the back of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys know one. you love it. Oh, man. <laughs> 
the old Woody. These are the these were the vehicles growing up that you got punched in the arm if you didn't call it. You had to say Woody, and if you didn't, your brother or sister would punch you. All right, I'm ready. Yeah, she got a Lambo, all right. Actually, it's one of the nicest cars we've ever owned. Uh, she deserves it. She's been working so hard, so. I left you, Jack Whacker. Where are you? Where's, where's Stevie going? He's so lost right now. He doesn't know uh, what's going He's on. acting like fire slam. You know, he's got to do the correct road rules. And... I like the old David Brown. What do you think of that, chat? Old tractor right there. All right, Stevie's gonna load up a bale. I'm just gonna do one bale. It's gonna mix it up, turn it into hay. Well, it is hay, but it's shredding it all up so we can throw it into the uh, pens. And that gives us 9,000. Yeah, you throw another one in. Three, actually. 30%, so three. Never seen one, says Frank. A David Brown. I've never seen one in real life. I've seen photos. They're pretty cool looking. It's got like a Alice case mix look to it. Pretty nice. You had one of those, Mike? You had a David Brown? Really? Whoops, sorry for that. I don't know what happened. Yeah, you better fix it, Floodwater. I got a lot of my studio cleaned up tonight while watching. Got some great farming in the background and a fresh desk. Very nice. How are they going to make bourbon when the water's out, Steerman? Yeah. Do that. Considering I live in a dry county, they can't. Stevie, you did such a good job just now. I don't even know what to say. It's super... Hey, Frosty? What? Does the yellow one take these also? Or is that just for the straw bedding? That's just for bedding, I believe. I, I, yeah, that's just for bedding. But there is that other mixer in the stall. Ah, I should have oh, used that one. Dang it. I couldn't remember. That, that mixer is a lot cooler. You know what? I'll give you this one. Take old David Brown, <laughs> and I want to take the nice one. <laughs> oh, which pin did you fill up? I haven't filled up anything yet. You'll just have to. I think all, none of these have food, really. Yeah, so any of them. Just try to not use it all in one spot. Maybe half the load. I don't know. You know what I mean? Divvy it up a little bit. I want the nice one, chat. I just gotta figure out where that little uh, case tractor Stevie had earlier. Where is it? You remember where it's at? Uh, the uh, red the power that, one. Oh, the found it. Behind the storm? Yep. It's got the shredder hooked up to it. So I found a really cool uh, feed mixer chat on uh, King King Mods, and it's it's super cool looking. We'll use that. A Keenan. Keenan. Never heard of it. But it looks cool. Alright, so here's what this bad boy looks like. A Keenan Mech Fiber 365. I don't know if that's a 
European brand. I have no idea, but it looks awesome. So uh, I'm excited to use it. And uh, let me see, unfold mixer wagon. The doors open on the back. I mean, that's pretty stinking cool right there. It's really cool. I like that. Very nice. Uh, open door. So that's to help the bales fall in so they don't flip over the other side. Pretty cool. Alright, on my way. I had to give a little tour. Oh, and it has a little monitor on the back, chat. That little monitor, I think, works. We're going to take a peek at it once we get a bale in here. And uh, Kevin Flores, that's my Chevy sitting up there by the red building. I'll, I'll show you real quick. And Oh, of course you have to go on that side, you jackwhack. Well, let me line. let me show you my wall. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. But now, <laughs> hey, let me swing around. Oh, oh. There you go, Sia. When he throws that in here, let's take a look at this monitor, see if... Oh, the numbers do work on that little monitor. That's awesome. So that should say 9,000 once it's done mixing it. Oh, very nice. And I can take one more bale in this one. I was going to say, I got the front two pins over here. Uh, left and right? Yeah. Wait. I think it's the special needs and then the, uh... Thank you, Stevie. <laughs> you could donate some because you're running on the spot. <laughs> Uh, Shawnee, established in 1978, Keenan is a respected leader in sustainable and profitable farming solutions, focused on maximum animal performance, handcrafted in Ireland. So it's an Irish mixer. Thanks for looking that up, Shawnee. So now if anybody asks, I say it's an Irish mixer. Get her done. So he f he put a little food in the left and right, and we can even see the, uh, the food popping out of the sides there. So we're gonna go throw it on the uh, the the other ones here. Let me see. Turn on mixer. Unfold mixer. Unload. Here. I think this one only comes out of the left side. Beautiful. Switch around, do little Yui, and put a little food in the other side. <laughs> that mixer is how they make Guinness. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Cameron. How's Cameron doing tonight? All right. Let's 
lined up. Probably barely putting a dent in it, huh? Just it's a little something, something. Coming out of the uh, front door here. Is that all the bales? Yep. And four. Take a look here at the statistics there, chat. So we fed the ones at the red barn, plain old grass. Top farm, I've been feeding them some of the stuff from another uh, situation. And then we gave grass to the outdoor main farm pasture. Top farm pasture, can't remember which one that is, but we fed them a little bit. They got a little bit of hay. And they got silage. Oh, that's up at the uh, the top farm. Top farm means top of the map. Uh, heifer barn. Have not gotten fed anything. Open free, full. Free stall only has straw. Ooh. They got some food and pen two. So pen two, pen one, and regular pen. These last four are all the ones we just fed inside that big thing. So they got a little bit. They got a little bit. Everybody got some food. But they'll, and, and they got straw, so they should start producing some milk and manure. Just gonna go put this away for now. And I think, are you guys still good to keep farming or? Yeah, I'm good. I was thinking we could, uh, I think it's field. I think field. 29 yes field 29 is ready to uh, make either either silage or cornmeal so we could have yeah we'll do that Oh, were you able to get something out of the silo? No, this over here is what Stevie filled me up with. Hmm. I fed the, uh, the open one? Or the freestyle, freestyle one. Gotcha. And now I'm filling these guys up. Oh, I got a sneeze. Woo! That'll be all the cows at least fed a little bit of food. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness. I'm gonna show this to the chat real quick. Show them how the uh, fermenting silo works. It made enough to at least mix a little bit. So if we get close to this big old pot right here. We can fill. Oh, you son. Start filling. All right, there we go. Weird trigger. So I'm not even on it, but it's saying fill. <laughs> All right, so we have silage, and we've got some fermented cornmeal. So those are the only two things we got in there right now, which is fine. You could put hay in there, I think. Yeah, you can put hay in there. But we're going to add this. <laughs> yeah, that trigger is a little offset. And then we're gonna add fermented cornmeal. And I put too much. Now it's just good old silage. But that's all right. 
I'll just wait for more uh, silage to produce to outdo that. We'll just leave this here for now. I'll have to remember to add a little silage to even out the mix, and that'll should make some TMR, I believe. Yeah. All right, ready? Yep. Let's uh, walk across the street here. Oh, here's my truck, uh, Kevin. I keep forgetting to show you. There it is, old Chevy. Uh, 1500 Z71 off-road. Nice old Chevy pickup. Excuse me. All right, so I'm thinking we'll have Gumby, since you uh, love John Deere's, you can hop into this big daddy. And okay. Stevie... You can follow him with any of these of your choice. He'll just throw some cornmeal right into your wagon. And then I'll hook up to a wagon with the other little guy and do just some regular chaff. He will share with you. What's up, dear Hunter Brett? Could be better trying to get rid of kidney stones. Oof. Not fun, not fun. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun at all. Uh, Gumby, the uh, John Deere inside the shed here. Yep, I'm coming. Oh, you're good. Sorry, I made a pit stop at the bathroom. Oh, you were fast. Yeah, don't take long. And your headers, yeah. Yep. Stuck it out in the shade. <laughs> hey, you didn't show nobody the office, Frosty. Did I not show the office? Uh oh. I didn't show it last night? Not that I'm aware of. Huh. Alright. I don't know what's where Stevie went. Oh, he's already up there. Oh. No, I was waiting around. on him and he's already up there. Yeah, he ain't messing around. <laughs> I'll show him the, the uh the office real quick quick chat. So this is like the farm office right here. I showed him the doors open. I showed you guys this last night. I had to. I just walked in the office. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought I showed everyone. You may have. I don't remember. But here it is, chat. We got a little PC, little lounge. I guess we can do some local repairs for other farmers. Bring your tractor or truck here. We'll fix it on up. This little maintenance garage. Hi, Stevie. Very nice. A little garage here to park something in. Very splendid. You ready? Yeah. Are you turned on, Chairman? Because it's not doing nothing. It's on. <laughs> what do you think of this little dude, chat? It's not going to work. The Heston Field Queen. This header is not going to work for this one. What's wrong? This header is not working. It worked for me. I've used it. Now make sure that field is ready. It's a corn field. No, it's still growing. All right, there's. I know there's one back here that was ready to forage. It said it was in the forage stage. This one's in the forage stage. Yeah. Sure. yeah. And it's not working? Nope. Is there anything in that wagon? Nope, it's empty. What the heck, man? That's what that's how I got the cornmeal. I was using that. Hang on, Stuart. Stevie, back that tractor up and get me to that trailer. Oh, is your pipe not out? <laughs> no, it's out. That wouldn't have mattered anyway. It still would have. What 
the heck, bro? I hope it didn't break it. Need in there, try frosty. That's not good. All right, let's see what happens here. <clears throat> What the heck? Lower header. I wonder if it's the header, because the old one works down here, Frosty. Well, that's just, that doesn't do cornmeal, though. Yeah. That just does silage. I mean, uh, does, chaff. Does the corn have to be ready before it works? No. The, f the field I did was just like this one, I thought. I know it was. Yeah, this is in the forage stage. Um, I'll just sell the header and buy another one. Maybe it's just... I don't know. Which note? Some country music. It's Poto's favorite. He loves that. <laughs> yep, cross your fingers, chat. Hopefully it works. Reset it. You got the wrong corn header. Nope, that's an earledge header. That's definitely the wrong, right one. That's the one I used to cut this other field down here. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Um, I don't know. Guess we'll just do some uh, si uh, regular chaff. Sucks. Forty three series, forty three series, eight four three. <sighs> hmm. I don't know. All right, I'm going to just purchase you. Uh, I find it. Four and a half meter, and we'll do the six. There you go, sir. I think it has to be, uh, the corn has to be yellow. Oh, is it, Nikki? The corn has to be yellow, so it has to be fully grown? I, I swore I did it in the forage stage. Maybe, I, yeah, maybe I'm wrong. That might be it then. Maybe that one field was fully harvest ready. So we'll just have to uh, remember that and try that out when there's an actual corn field. My bad. At least this is working. Oh, yeah, that is what it was. Yeah, because look at the texture. Yeah, I messed up. I 
I didn't mute myself, did I? Nope, you're okay, good. Okay, just making sure. I'm known to do that. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. You going behind me, Stevie? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we crouch us better, then I'll come up beside you. Yeah, let's go over here. That way we don't run head on into Frosty. I'm gonna do like a big circle around. Is that what you guys yeah. are doing? Yeah, that's what I figured you were gonna do. Hold on. Sorry, a Stevie. It's cruising at like six. I just need to change something. You're good. Oh, oh missed a spot. Ready when they are. Sorry. Quiet little harvester, I like it. Yeah, I haven't, I can't, I haven't messed with corn for such a long time. Uh, well, the earlage, because the only time we ever did that was Seven on people. Westby. But I couldn't remember what stage it had to be in. Yeah, I was thinking it had to be fully grown. Yeah? Yeah, I, I was thinking not. <laughs> That's got to be what it is. Because even, the, is the stubble looking the same for your tractor as it is mine? Dark? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then, yeah, that's that. That's my fault. It's got to be fully ready to harvest. So instead of harvesting just straight up corn, you use the earlidge header and it makes the corn meal. Yep. Dang it, Bobby. Screwed up, chat. Screwed up. We're just playing fire slaying in there, right? Yep. Push me, Stevie. We can catch Frosty. <laughs> Little Heston's little, little on the slow side. Super quiet though. Sounds nice. Little vacuum cleaner. My father used to be a farmer when he was younger. He drove a chopper. Ooh. So you definitely know what's going on. Okay, I'm good, Stephen. Something that's in the silo or the bunker? Um, silo will work a lot faster. And four. Yeah, I'm staying away from that bunker as much as possible. <laughs> What a regular corn harvester header. Well, that's a mod. That's a mod. The uh, earlidge header, that's just how it looks. <clears throat> yeah. Very, it's like the only earlidge header out there. Way to fill it up quick, huh? <laughs> well, Stevie has to go into my trailer, so I figured I'd come help you fill yours. Yeah. 95%, and it doesn't go above 95 for some reason. So. I figured why not. Plus, it's something nobody's seen before, probably. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back. In four hours here and wait on Stevie. Unless you want to grab these extra wagons and get like a rotation going. Ooh, okay. We got two extra ones down here.
Ooh, I know what we can do. I'll drop the uh, full one by the shaded tree, Stevie. And I'll just grab another empty one off these other tractors. Sound all right? Sounds good to me. Then let Stevie run him in into him. If he wants. Yeah, I can drop or We can take turns, you know. And... Get an assembly line going. In the bunker, it will for, form, form it break down. See, Nikki, here's the field I did and made cornmeal. So that definitely was corn ready to harvest. See the stubble there? I should have put two and two together. Dang it. There's the evidence right there. So that's where I made cornmeal. And then if we do fill up the uh, silo, then we can start put it in the bunker. And four. Yep, frosty speed. That's right. You forget it. I'm farming away and can't stop playing. It's fun, I'm telling, telling you. Farming's so relaxing. It's easily my favorite simulator. And we'll be doing more of it tomorrow, but uh, we'll be on Silver Run, doing some forestry, deliveries. We'll be with all the uh, Tier 3 members. Make sure you tune in for that tomorrow, chat. That'll be probably around 8.30, 9 o'clock start time, Eastern. She got a Toyota Highlander. We had to have third row seating because I, I do the uh, carpooling for the kids. We, we rotate with a couple other families. So we needed something with seats, but we kind of wanted to get away from the van because vans, uh, you know, it's a van. My wife didn't want another van, <laughs> especially after all the issues we had with the Honda. So yeah, it's, we love it so far. You got chat to help you out. I know, Nikki. You helped me realize I was uh, using that on the wrong stage. Stevie, we won't need another one. <laughs> you get to help Stevie. See, this is a perfect setup. So he'll be busy doing that. And we're almost done, so we'll just switch out tractors, pull these over, and we'll just get it all done at once. That's how you knock out a field real fast. Yep. will win this epic battle. Chicken. <laughs> well, you knew I wasn't moving. I know. <laughs> I'd take the road down the hill. It'd be worth it. <laughs> right, I'm off to bed. Keith Griffin, have a splendid evening, sir. Yeah, it's getting late for some of you, and I understand. You're probably heading on out, but thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you did forget, hit the like button on the way out. That means a lot. 
helps the stream. And uh, hopefully you all did that. Thanks for hanging out with me. Are you gonna make the fields bigger? Heck no. Make them bigger? Why would I do that? No, this is a. It's set up this way for a reason. It's how a lot of farms are set up with grass strips in between. I love it. I love the look of it. Very well done. Got about 15,000 out of that. He's filling them wagons too fast. <laughs> yeah, he's got that big John Deere. What happened to the farm game where the package get thrower for the sky delivery? Garden Sim. Oh, Garden Simulator? Yeah, haven't played that in a while. It's, uh, it's fun, but it's to the point where I kind of did everything you can do on that. <laughs> There's this one little section I haven't finished, which I'll probably, someday I'll probably finish it, of course. But. Hey, make it a time lapse video. Yeah, good. Yeah. We have a Highlander, has over 200,000 miles, and it's still a solid vehicle. Nice. Yeah, my wife loves it. She loves it. So we got that, and we got the uh, Kia. The old Kia Soul. No more van. Was not sad to see it go. I can imagine. Didn't even take a picture. I was like, nope, done with you. How's it going, Stevie? Doing good. Another one dropped off. That thing uh, filling up pretty good now? It is. Nice. Bringing another load. 93,000 at the moment. Nice. I'll keep it going for a while. Oh, lost something. <laughs> yep. I hit the horn button and detached it. <laughs> Frosty, use new old case quad track. Quad, quad track. Yeah, I like it. Pretty cool. I have it on uh, another map. Pretty good. Fill that bad boy up. Come on. And we are empty. Good eight thousand. What's that? Hundred and eight thousand. Nice. Yeah, bottom right screen chat, you can see uh, 108,000 chaff, about 23,000 raw cornmeal, 
and it's making silage and fermented corn. Ooh, I'm gonna steal that silage. This mix looking proper. So I don't need any more silage. I need either straw or oh, hay or, cake. or wet cake. Bob, go wet cake. I think I'll go get a load of wet cake. I think you got to load it in the truck. Yeah. I'll show you all where you get some wet cake. Take the old uh, Chevy for a spin. Ooh, I forgot. Maybe he was talking about this Chevy. The two door. Is this what you were talking about, Kevin? It's gracious. First time going up to get some wet cake. I guess wet cake is uh, something you can mix in to make TMR. And there's also on this map uh, crack, cracked corn. And you can get them both from uh, this place. I'm heading to, to the store to go purchase some. It's fun. I like doing the uh, chaff. I wish they bought the old Steiger to the game for cross. Yeah. Corn crib is on King's modding, says Ace. That's where I get like all, mostly everything I get from either King's or the official itch.io sites for different modders. But King's is a great, great website to find a lot of nice farm mods. Here's your purchase and sell point on the map. We're gonna load up some uh, wet cake. And there it is, right there. So you got wet cake, you got lime, and there's the cracked corn, which can also be mixed in. But we're gonna get some wet cake, because it just sounds delicious. Pressed corn. Pressed corn is fire. There's a lot of corn. There's a lot of corn, Stewie. I think he was talking about the old Dodge. That would be Stevie's truck. So it even has its own little texture there. Some wet cake. Sounds tasty. <laughs> I bet it's not, though. Something tells me it's not very satisfying. Uh, if one of you two, when I get back, if you want to come back up here to grab a load of crack corn, I'm going to put it in that commodity shed. Got you. If you want to. Sure. And then whoever doesn't, if you want to help me, we can load up uh, Stearman's harvester down at that field we started tonight, load it on the, the big truck, and transport it back to the house. All right, you got it loaded. Oh, dang. On top of things. Actually, I'll see if this works. It has a grain door on the back. Maybe it'll let me uh, dump right into the uh, blower. 
didn't find out. It's quite splendid. Never know till you try it first, that's right. I just had a strawberry and cream, nothing bunt cake. What is wet cake, Frosty? Uh, large H mapping when I watched his video. He didn't really explain what it is. It's just something that farmers use to mix in with their TMR. It's just compressed corn silage. Compressed corn silage. Oh, there you go. Look at the texture of it coming out. Too close. Or is that all it'll take? Or wait a minute, does it not even, wait, well, what am I doing? You don't put wet cake in here. Dang it. I will say it won't take wet cake. Yeah, <laughs> wet cake has to, I, I even said commodity shit. I'm out of it tonight. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to empty that out of that tractor. That ain't never going up. There we go. Uh, here's Stevie's truck, guys. Here's the old Dodge. Dodge B4 Flathead 6 tuned. <laughs> like a mafia farmer. <laughs> Looks like wet poop mud. Yeah, I guess it's compressed silage. Wet cake. Shawnee, our fact finder. Wet cake are the chief byproduct of the ethanol production process. They offer high value feed additive for both dairy and beef rations. Well, thank you very much for that. Beautiful. Nice truck, Stevie. With a frosty blue <laughs> Excuse me. Shit. <laughs> he did that on purpose. Maniac. Yeah, a lot of this corn's not even in the f the forage stage, chat. That's why we haven't done anything with it. Uh, probably the next month we fast forward to, all that will be ready to forage. And hopefully there will be at least a couple fields on the map that are fully ready to... Uh, make cornmeal. <coughs> Alright. So I'll put it on the far end. This action cannot be performed here. Think about that again, bruh. Well, let's see. Hmm. Unload. What? So you can't, you can only un. So once you get to this point, the trigger goes away. You can only unload right I was going to say, maybe the silo behind that one's affecting it. I'll you may it. try a different bin. Oh, gotcha. Because you got the little uh, mineral feed silo back here. Gonna have a wet cake party. Doesn't sound good, does it? <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> A wet cake party. <laughs> there we go. And if you want to go grab some cracked corn. Yep. 
the main market store. If this can be sold. Yeah, I'm gonna sell that small grain bin, because I don't really want it. Maybe that'll fix that trigger. <clears throat> and then, uh, Stevie... How hard would it be for you to bring that mixer that's parked under that pipe over here? Or no, no, I can bring this to you. Well, never mind. I'll bring it to you. We'll get a little bit of wet cake up in her. Where do I gotta go? Um, those fields we harvested, take that road. And just follow it up to, a, you'll see a little dirt road at the top. Gotcha. Of then I'm guessing that's probably a little silo up there. Yep, you'll see the store up there. Or silo. Yep. 10 for you. If I flip your truck, what am I doing? Yeah, it's a little, a little light. <laughs> On my way, Stevie. The fresh load of wet cake. Oh man. Uh, good evening, Frosty. I noticed that you are putting on a show and thought I would watch. Well, Robert Brown, I'm glad you're here. Thank you, Daddy. Thanks for tuning in, Robert. <coughs> All right, Stevie. Uh, yeah, that mixer. I'll meet you on the other end of this building. Tell me when the mix is good. Ready? Yeah. on the other side. I'm on the wrong side. Maybe that's messing with it. <clears throat> Frosty, you're making me hungry for chocolate cake. But don't got none. Frosty, are you planning on using the year two pass items on the member farm tomorrow? Just wondering. If I no, 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 no. No. Because that's like 40 bucks. Um, yeah, I won't do that to everybody. Nope. We'll be using the uh, same stuff we used last time. All right, what the heck, man? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Some of it going in or no? It didn't seem to go off. Is that, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Is there even a symbol for wet cake or is it for the cracked corn? Nope, it's a cracked corn. That okay, that's why. What the heck's the wet cake for? I'm so confused. Extra cow feed? I believe so, because you just feed it to the cows. Straight up. Remember, right? Yeah. Alright, then I'll go. Gumby, can you. What's up? Never mind. Yeah. You just. Okay. I don't know, Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna feed these. these little. little cows some. some wet cake! See if they take it this way. Okay, that's, yep, they're taking it. All right, so, so, uh, no, they're not taking it. That just live dumped it. Well, I don't know. I don't know, then. 
Uh, sounds good. I plan to buy it. Just didn't know. Yeah, you're good. I don't know what the wet cake's for then. I remember it was for something, but I don't remember what now. Hmm. Yeah, those cows didn't want it. Unless it takes the place. No, because it's not even showing up on the mixer. You already dumped? Yeah. Go grab a scoop of that. It says to feed it to the dairy cow. Oh, was that not the dairy pen? That might be the other one. <clears throat> Even though there's I dairy there. Cake, rock corn, and CCM to get dairy All right, so here's some crack corn chat if you want to look at it. Got a nice little texture to it. Wet cake, what is it, says Robert. It's it's delicious, that's all you need to know. <laughs> you just wanna overeat it as much as possible. I'm gonna drive right through the shed here and see if I can throw some of this in your mixer. Be on the other side. This should work. A world. <clears throat> I don't know. Running out of ideas. I watched his darn video, <laughs> and it definitely showed him putting stuff into a mixer. Let's try. Maybe you need the a certain mixer. mixer. Yeah, maybe this modded mixer is. I don't know. The blue one's in the red shed. Hang up. Hang up, Bobby. figure it out. It's $60 on Xbox for the season. Chase. It was for 40, 39.99 on Steam, I think. Yep. Planting soybean in my fields and used my combine harvester to push my tractor faster. Nothing wrong with that. Sounds like something Stearman would do. <laughs> Back up just a pinch. Beautiful. Here we go. Yep. Problem. That here. one takes it. Yeah, I'm guessing because it has the 
has it in there for it. Or this one don't. Oh, wait, I this thought, one says it takes yeah, it. Yeah, it does. That, it just... that one does. Weird. Maybe there's a certain combo. Like, maybe I'm wondering the... If the... I wonder if it's because that kingdom's got corn in it. It's got earlidge. Maybe. Because then you've got corn on corn because it's cracked corn. Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe it won't take cracked corn with I was going to say, Speedy, come over here and see if you can get some cornmeal out and see if it lets you. The trigger's weird. It's like it comes out where Gumby's standing, like right about here. Yeah, get some corn. Stop it, Stevie. Stop it, Stevie. Stop it, Stevie. <laughs> Just a little over. Yeah, you'll fix Sorry, it with Sally. Can... Ooh, but look at the... No, look at the cracked corn. It's got way too much of that, too. Yeah, but once I stop putting the silage and the hay in, I'm going to let it out. I was going to say, yeah. You put the silage in and it should fix it. That's weird. I don't understand that why the green one didn't take it. Because this is two different corns. Take the... Take I the wonder... Dump it. Uh, dump it into that silo where you're standing. Really? Where do you want Actually, me to jump in? Actually, you're going to need to go get some more crack corn. I get what you're saying. I don't. <laughs> what are you thinking about? You're put. You're gonna try to put. Uh oh. Steering wheel went bye bye. Uh oh. All right, I'll go grab some. <clears throat> Woo! My instincts. Steerman lost some internet, it looks like. I paid 42 on Xbox for the Season 2 pass. Do you want more of the uh, crack corn? Yeah. I'll try a little experiment. I like experiments. It's going to be lots of fun. There he comes. Belief, huh? I'm, I'm, is it stuck? Dude, that harvester looks sharp on that flatbed. Doing? You want me to dump directly into the blower? Uh, no, into the silo over here. He wants you to see if it'll go in the silo. What you're oh. keeping is the silo to load this up. Gotcha. I think it's the, it must be the mod. 
So we'll uh, just maybe try to remember to only use this, because I like it. We'll just only use this for a, a standard recipe, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, it. <clears throat> Trying to figure nope. out the uh, cracked corn and wet it cake. It tries, but it can't. I wonder. Yeehaw. Nope, it will not take crack corn, Stevie. And four. Because I just well, emptied it. Oh crap. Well, at least we know what the issue is. It's got yep. T-boned. <clears throat> Empty the trailer and start from scratch. Start with the corn, the crap corn fat first. I well, just tried that. Oh, did you? Yep, I dumped that silage into the silo and tried to load it with crap corn and it wouldn't let me. I don't know. I think it's the mixer. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. The only thing can be since the other one takes the crack corn. Yeah. <clears throat> Guess I'll run the uh, harvester better. back up to the house. Numbers Pretty look better now, Stevie. Yeah, that works. Like I said, because that's where the crack horn's going to start coming down now, because you're going to have to put a lot of silage in there. Oh, yeah? Some hay. I was going to say, can you reset that other one, Stevie? Let's see if that actually fixes it. Needs a lot of body work now, the pickup. <clears throat> yeah, I jacked it up pretty good. Maybe it's glitched out or something? I don't know, so you just don't actually reset it, reset it because I don't know where the spawn point is. A spawn point? Yeah, I don't remember. It's down there somewhere close. I think it's where I bought the, the uh, chaff header by that field. Gotcha. I know, that GMC is awesome. I love it. Pretty cool ride. Because right now there's nothing in there and it's saying there's five in there. So you want to reset it, Stevie, and I'll run over there and see if I can't pick it up. He's not in the mood for you right now. <laughs> he never is, but he deals with me. <laughs> it won't let me click on it. Uh, I can't do it. I don't have permissions. What are we trying to me do? Me neither. Second, I'll get you. Frosty, I'm, I'm doing. Have a good one, brother. 
probably see you uh, tomorrow. Yeah, we'll be live again tomorrow around 8.39 p.m. Eastern. So I want to know when you're joining the farm. I know. Be good old days. We'll get there eventually. He's working too much. He has to stop working so much. He does. Stop working so much, Duan, and do some farming. Take a Wednesday off and farm. Yeah. Can you do me a favor? Possibly. Can you come get this tractor and take it back? It wouldn't pull this thing up the hill. <clears throat> so I had to switch them. out where this road leads. Ah, oh, it's a dead end. I tried it the other day. Dead Thank end. you, sir. So no Santa, Santa Frosty? Nah, no, that's, that's done. Yeah, last year was not a hit at all, so I'm not suffocating myself for that anymore. <laughs> First year we did it was real? pretty good. Huh? <laughs> You mean he wasn't real? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I was miserable. And that's hot and sweating and nasty. Yeah, last year was a fail, big time. <laughs> see here so animals are looking a lot better now beautiful tops we still gotta get more straw next time we'll probably harvest some more fields and nope but, uh, we i got... can't even feel it from the silo yeah so it's a, it's a feeder then yeah i went up to the, where we get it from and it won't even let me fill it it don't even give me a fill option you still using the mixer? Yeah. The modded one? Yeah, we reset it since it was up here next to the silo. Mm -hmm. I just drove it on up to see if I could get it out of the silo itself. But it won't even give me the spawn point for it. Nah. Alright, well now we know. I still yeah, don't understand the wet cake. I think the wet cake goes to the, uh... Dairy cows, like Stevie said. Like straight to them? Yeah. Oh, well, let's test that out real quick. I think I'll probably end the sh end the show after that. We're pretty much done. But uh, if someone wants to meet me over at the commodities shed and just throw a little bit of wet cake in the back of my little, s I don't know what this thing's called. <laughs> As a tier three member, I'd love to see a Santy Frosty again. I'm sorry, Isaiah. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's it's not fun. And like I said, last year was was an epic epic fail compared to the the first year. So I'd rather be. Plus, I won't be here on Christmas. I'll be out of town. So that's my my main excuse. <laughs> hey, just upload a TikTok video of you singing. Yeah. Costume one. There you go. Isaiah, get his wish.
Easy on my little truck, okay. All right, it's Stevie, not me, <clears throat> Frosty. Oh, that's Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> And full. I'm glad you went looking. 1750 liters. Oh, that was great. Did you crash again, Donkey? Like, as soon as I did that, I <clears> did <throat> like a endo completely over the front of this tractor and landed it. What's up, NW? <clears throat> Man, got something. A congestion going on here. Who wants to ride shotgun? Oh. Oh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go deliver some wet cake to our cows. So you said dairy cows. Just test it out on these guys over here. I it says on the left side, so one of these is not full. In one, so this one? Yeah, the one I'm standing in. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna just drive slowly along the edge. I don't know if it'll let us do this or not. Not getting any trigger points. Yeah, I'll have to find out. I'll comment on one of his videos and see if he'll answer me. <clears throat> I was gonna say, you want me to try to open the gate and you back in there? See if it works that way? Oh, yeah, sure. just wanted to get me in an Austin Powers situation. I see how it is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's try that again. Yeah, baby! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not seeing... I don't know. Let's not be able to do it that way. This little car is sweet, though. It goes through all these hallways. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Yep, I don't know. Maybe the beef cows are the only ones that take it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yep, that's not working. So that's something we'll, we'll uh, I'll have, I'll investigate, see if we can figure out what the wet cake, how it's used. Because in his video, it, it just made it look like you mix it in with TMR. I don't know if it acts like a filler, kind of like straw does. I don't know, Try one more yeah, stall here. Nope. I'll dump it in this silo over here. Can test it out some other time with a mixer or something. Good night, Jordan. Have a good one, brother. Don't remind me about the horrible birthday present you gave me this year, says Rhett. <clears throat> the horrible... Don't remind me about the horrible birthday present you give me this year. What are you talking about? My memory is so bad. If it's something that happened earlier this year, I probably forgot. I have the worst memory ever. Trying to figure out if we maybe if we stand over 
here, it'll tell us how much slurry we have. I guess, uh, maybe not. Maybe it only shows up on the map for each cow, but I think it all goes there. I'm not sure. But each of these pens has a little slurry pipe here. So I'm wondering if those are active. I guess we'll find out next time. I think we'll, yeah. But I don't know. See, this one doesn't have a pipe. Or is it on the front end? Yeah, there's no slurry pipe on this building. So it must just all go to one central location. All right. Stevie Stearman, say goodbye to the chat. Bye, chat. See you later. Bye, chat. That was fun. I, I really like this map. I do, too. It's got that relaxing, old-school vibe. Love it. All right, chat, what do you think? We're all done? That's pretty much it for tonight. Zoom out, give you a little look at the old Farmer Uzi. We got a lot of work done tonight. Definitely. Got pretty much all the cows, a little bit of food. Enough to uh, start making some milk, producing some poo and slurry. Uh, see ya, Ian, Mickey Trimmer, Frank Barton, Isaiah Lewis, uh... Rat Acres, I have a birthday cruise, 12, 17, 12, then you go away. No Frosty for me from, oh, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I'll be out of town from like the 22nd or 23rd all through Christmas. So I'll be back like, I don't know when. I think my wife said like seven to eight days we'll be up and up north. Four more hours. I don't know if my butt can handle that. I'm sorry, Ian. <laughs> But thank you so much. We had a we had a nice show tonight. Had a lot of viewers and uh, some new subscribers. We had Jake Dup seventy seven, old crazy granny, uh, Dave Halser, Dustin Bartlett, and uh, probably some other ones. It doesn't always tell me all the new subscribers, but thank you, thank you so much for hanging out, chat. And uh, we'll be back on this map soon. I definitely want to keep playing on it. And uh, tomorrow will be Silver Run. Logging, forestry, maybe a little bit of farming. There's some fields on that map. So we'll see you there with the tier three members. We'll probably have about, probably a full lobby. We can have up to eight people. So seven, including myself. So eight. So yeah, we'll probably have a full house of farmers tomorrow night. So check it out around 8.30, 9 p.m. Eastern. And uh, look forward to seeing you all again. Hit that like button on the way out. And thanks for uh, hanging out with us. Marco Salgado, peace out. Wayne Roberts, goodbye. Levi Schultz, have a good night. Ace Catfishing, thanks for hanging out. And special thanks to Stearman and Stevie for putting up with me and farming with me. All right. We'll see you all later. Goodbye. Goodbye, Chase.